same year in which Rabbi Burns wrote Scots Wahe, um, and with the third oldest institution for the blind in the world. But my theme in speaking to you briefly this morning uh, for a few minutes is not history, as proud as we are of that, but the simple and happy one of welcomes. First, of course, to extend a very warm welcome to all of you and to thank you for coming here today to share in our celebration. I'd particularly like to welcome all our distinguished guests from other organisations, both local and national, and we're honoured to have you here today. And of course, to echo Gwen's very warm welcome earlier uh, to the First Minister. I'd also like to reflect briefly on the way in which Royal Blind, and indeed our sister organisation, Scottish War Blinded, which has the Hawkhead Centre next door, have been made to feel very welcome here in Paisley. From the outset, Renfrewshire Council have been very supportive, and for that we are most grateful. And thank you, Ian Nicholson Council Leader, and Cathy McEwen, Deputy Provost, for that on behalf of the organisation and for joining us today. And more widely, uh, thank you to the people of Paisley and the surrounding areas for the very warm welcome that the community have given us. Most of the staff here at Jenny's Well are also from the local area. And whilst they and other members of the community have made us as an organisation feel very welcome here, I hope too that we have made you feel very welcome within our organisation. I would also very much like to welcome and thank those who have contributed financial resources. And included today are two of our largest grant funders for the project and also uh, an individual who did all of the community fundraising that we received for the project through Paisley Ladies Golf Club. And it's also through legacy donations uh, and other generosity that we're able to fund uh, and support new buildings such as this one. And we're very grateful for all the donations we received for the build and the equipment for the home, both from grant funders and the local community, which there isn't time to list uh, just now. Some of you are here today, and a huge thank you uh, from all of us. Last but not least, inevitably, I'd like to talk about our residents. When we talk about uh, this beautiful new purpose-built home, the purpose, of course, refers to our residents. And our approach to care is based, as you would expect, on relevant frameworks and guidance, but most importantly, on the thoughts and feelings of the residents. Our care home residents here have told us that they want to feel that they are at home and have their own space, and they want to feel part of the community, and they want to feel that they are with friends. 
as well as a number of other important wishes that they've expressed, such as well-trained, knowledgeable, caring and friendly staff being listened to and involved, peace and companionship as desired, and safety and independence. Residents also say that they want their family and friends to have the freedom to visit when they want to. They want them to continue to be a part of their life and to be able to share things with them. They want them to be welcome. So in welcoming you here today and speaking of the welcome that Royal Blind has been given in Paisley, I hope that we can continue to repay that through the welcome and quality of care that we each give our residents in this chapter of their lives. I hope that their family and friends and the local community will also continue to feel welcome. We hope that this principle extends to all of our specialist services for people with vision impairment, day education and residential and respite care for young people, our services to build skills and capacity in mainstream education, our after school and holiday club which integrates vision impaired uh, children with seeing children, our residential and respite services for young adults, our other specialist care home as mentioned by the First Minister for the vision impaired elderly in Edinburgh, the provision of Braille and other alternative formats through the Scottish Braille Press, also safely housed in a new modern building just three days ago, and through the activity centres and national outreach work of our sister charity, Scottish War Blinded. Thank you very much for coming. I hope you enjoy the visit, and I'm delighted to hand you back to Gwen for the formal part of the proceedings. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 